We got Carlos Rodon with us. Carlos, thank you so much for hopping on the feed. We appreciate it. Thanks for having me. You ready to check out some of your top performance social media posts? Sure. One of your most recent ones, you just went viral, man. Joe Torre. Yeah, that was pretty cool. They asked me about it after the game and I was, I'll say it again, I, he came out to the mound and when I knew I was coming out, I was just like, why am I getting taken out here? And then you see Joe Torre and the big ovation. I was like, okay. I see why now, this is pretty cool. Next one, big watch guy. You got the nice Rolex for your yeah. no-hitter, baby. Yeah, so uh, my wife actually planned this out through the no-hitter in, in 21 um, with Zach Collins. This was his, we got a white and black sky dwellers and she had this all set up with the line and there's Zach's number there for 21. I asked Zach, I said, do you want white or black? And he said, white, I said, perfect. Black fits me better, so. And a lot of people have Rolexes, but they don't have this on the back yeah, too. Yeah. This is awesome. Just something commemorative. So, you know, we both remember it. And I mean, not that we'll ever forget, but, <laughs> but yeah, man, it's pretty cool. It's cool. Next one, you have a lot of awesome gloves. We've seen them yeah. on the mound. Yeah, this was a few years back with the, the camo mesh, just you know, the family inscription and the camo outdoorsman. And, like the green and this year I have a Nike glove. It's purple and black and kid's name is pretty cool. That's right, we saw the purple yeah, already. Yeah. You busted out during spring training, it yeah. looks awesome. Thanks, yeah, yeah, it's cool. This is a cool picture, yeah. is this hanging out up in your uh, home? That's in the gym, the gym back home in our barn. We just had like a big gym we made and an area where I could throw and we had, my wife had this guy come out and paint these murals and he knew I was you know, a big Joker fan and, and this is what he did. And, I had to take a picture of it. I was like, this is pretty amazing. And so that that's still, that's on the wall. It's kind of like spray painted and painted on the wall. He does some really cool stuff. Dude, it looks sick. Yeah. Next one, here's a picture of you and your family walking the runway yep. at the All-Star game. Does it get any better than this? Yeah, that was a 22 All-Star game. Um, there's Bo on the left. And then Willow, <laughs> Willow's trying to blow a kiss. Um, everyone looks better than me, obviously. Uh, Ashley looking <laughs> stunning as always. And Willow complimenting with her white flowers. Um, yeah, it was fun, man. The All-Star game is always a treat. And now we have a third one. He wasn't born then, but it uh, wasn't long after that that we have we have Cy now. So now we have three kids. So Cy, that's a cool name. Yeah, Silo. So Silo's his name. I call him Cy. I said, I'm not calling him Silo. I'm Cy. So S-I-L-O, <laughs> yeah. So is this picture hanging up in your house also? Or is it uh, because there's a third kid now in the picture? This one's uh, tucked <laughs> we away. We have a lot of, <laughs> actually a lot of, when you walk in our house in Indiana, uh, a lot of the pictures are just Willow, so we haven't even cycled <laughs> Bo in yet. Bo will walk up to some of the pictures, that's me, and it's Willow as a baby. It's like, yeah, it's you, Bo. It's you. <laughs> so before you had the kids, yeah, this you was a wife. long, long yeah, time ago. You guys ago. had some fun, huh? Little Halloween, dress up, you know, fitting for obviously what I do as a baseball player, but um, that was a long time ago. Maybe 2014. We were really young. I was probably I was 22 years old, 21. I was 21. Ashley was 19. Wow. A long time ago. Yeah. This is a big time throwback. Ten, ten then, years, huh? yeah. We might have to ago. see it again. Uh, I don't think <laughs> I don't dress up much more. Actually I do dress up. You do. Different different. More kid friendly. <laughs> kid friendly. That's right. Mr. Flintstone. Yeah, Mr. Flintstone. That was Flintstone. the caption. Call me Mr. Flintstone. Yeah. We throw a Halloween uh kind of like a trunk or treat at our house. Um obviously the end of October. Right around the 29th, that, that weekend there, uh, we have a bunch of people from town come out, family, uh, a bunch of cars parked in the driveway, and a bunch of kids. I mean, an outrageous amount of kids. We do inflatables. It, it's, a, it's a fun, we've done it four or five years now. It's a fun little shindig we do. So yeah, we always look forward to that. But hopefully this year, I, I don't really want to be, I don't really <laughs> want to have a Halloween party because I want to be doing something else. It's now, did you uh, make any of these back No, here? I had nothing, pretty impressive I had packs, nothing to do with that. I think <laughs> this past year we did Moana, which was really cool. Oh. We had a ship and it was cool. My wife goes all out, but we have a lot of fun with that. This yes. is awesome too. Yeah. So yeah, I grew up, I you know, I grew up in Raleigh, North Carolina. Saw the Hurricanes win a few Stanley Cups. Um, and I got to, you know, blow the horn there, you know, get the horn going and start the, the game off. I thought that was really cool. Um, I don't remember what that, when that was. It was a few years back, but that was, that was a fun experience. Yeah, we got to get you out to MSG and uh, maybe yeah. a little puck drop or something. Oh, how about that one? Dude, check out this throwback. <laughs> and you even got the cool Angels jersey too, man. Yeah, that's the throwback Angels jersey. That was a... Uh, I don't know how old I was there, probably four, three, I'm a little tiny little thing. Um, that's when I used to be able to swing it. Now it hurts to swing a bat, so I don't do that much anymore. Uh, glad pitchers don't hit. Um, yeah, that was back in, that's actually Miami. So uh, I moved from Miami when I was eight years old, but you know, started playing baseball down there. And that's, I mean, I played baseball all year round. Good weather, I mean, 
that's all I did was play baseball when I was that age, so. We see all these social media posts. You obviously love to have a good time, whether it was with your family, uh, dressing up, everything yeah. along those lines. What would you say is your favorite part about social media and showing that stuff? Yeah, I mean, just sharing, you know, things like that from, you know, I was probably four years old, me swinging a bat in a little Angels jersey, and then, you know, just connecting, there's connection there. Baseball is what we do, but it, you know, it's not exactly who we are. You know, I'm a father first, and don't get me wrong, I love the game of baseball, but you know, when I leave here, it's about being a dad now, at this point in life, it's being a dad and a husband, and just, you know, raising three kids. You're a family guy, we love yeah. it. And we see yeah. that through the post too. And if you're not following Carlos just yet, now's the time for the plug, so why should everybody follow you and what should they expect? I don't post that much, but when I do, it's usually the kids either doing something funny or, you know, at times, you know, special moments like you saw the last post was the, you know, Joe Torre taking me off the mound. Um, every once in a while on Instagram, I'll post a story. It's either, you know, Bo probably doing something he shouldn't be, but it's pretty funny and I should be reprimanding him, but I'm laughing, so I'm like, I have to video this. I do have, you know, a stockpile of videos that I have not used, but there's just quite a few of Bo doing something conniving, that's for sure. But uh, yeah, that's kind of it, you know. Carlos, thank you so much for hopping on the feed, brother. Yeah, thank you, brother. Let's go.